What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dummy Wormy, and here's a little bit of a different video. I know I'm here to shake things up a little bit, considering our world is just topsy turvy. Plus, there's different topics that I'm not able to talk about, mainly political. Plus, this is a topic I've been needing to make a video on for a little while, and I recently had a perfect moment to actually do it. And we're 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 gonna come over here to Niche Gamer just to help try to break this down a little bit because earlier this month Twitch decided to revamp their rules and basically single out VTubers as nothing more than second class citizens. Since then, we have had a onslaught of different VTubers left, right, and center getting banned, getting warnings, getting strikes, all sorts of crazy stuff, and it, it really does come out as nothing more than double standards when you see some of these events. One girl in particular was playing a video game and got banned for said video game because of sexual content, but even in the rules on Twitch, the video game and the content itself would not be ban worthy. There's been multitude of examples of stuff like this going on, but we recently had another event in the form of Meg getting shut down over on Twitch herself. Now, this story started popping off right around the 27th, so that would have been Sunday or so in which Meg got a brand new model, uh, decided to go out and show it off to the world. And it's a really good model, by the way. V beautiful, has a bunch of really cool expressions of great physics. It, it, it is just arguably a beautiful model. But when she's doing her new debut of her brand new model and showing off what it can do, she got in trouble for it. And he here's the video, okay? Now, this comes from VTuber family, so go check them out over on Twitter. But here's the video, you know, of her whole, like, debut and stuff. And if I'm going to be fair in what I'm reporting here, I think what got her banned was when she showed off the bikini aspect of her model. Now, there is still a double standard here, because when we continue through this video, we can very clearly see that she's on a beach. And we'll get deeper into this because this is a double standard this is hypocritical and this is just another example of twitch singling out vtubers and treating vtubers as nothing more than second class citizens than actually treating them as the content creators they truly are but we come over here to this and this comes from meg and she points out a very good argument okay twitch what's going on I made sure to be TOS friendly. Look at what this category shows. How is that fair? Twitch, Twitch support, could you please look over my account? If I could get a reason as to why I was banned, then I will make sure to make the corrections to my attire because that's what she got banned for. She didn't get banned for sexual themes. She didn't get banned for anything else. She got banned for her attire. And it doesn't really make much sense considering, again, Twitch allows basically softcore prawn on their site the entire time and allows girls, fleshy girls, people of the flesh, to go on stream in just their bikinis and not have any problems, not get hit, not get banned. But, oh my gosh, a, a VTuber on a beach, or even if it's a 2D beach, she's still on a beach showing off her new model and her new bikini gets banned for doing such that that's not okay but we get some other examples and you come over here i have fixed everything that could get me banned with my clothing and the water in my background i understand lots of people are saying that there was sexualized content in my stream but that's not what they told me they banned me for the ban was for attire, according to Twitch. But Elra makes an amazing point in the post. And what her point is, is this ultimate point here that is actually important. And this is in some of the brand new guidelines that actually came out with Twitch. And I want to mainly single out stuff right down here. And, and they point out, like, these are the things that could get you in trouble. And some of the stuff that you should probably not do on stream. Or if you do, make sure it's categorized correctly. 
If you are in a setting such as pool, hot tub, or beach that may not be real, props do not require water within them for us to still consider you in the correct context. Your content is still required to be the correct category and apply an applicable content classification label. Now, here's the thing. A lot of what this stuff has been going on in regards to VTubers is them getting in trouble for showing hips, for show being in a bikini, for being in other clothing, not super revealing clothing, but other clothing and they get hit and in trouble for doing stuff like this. And you can come right up here. The entire policy applies to VTubers in the same way it applies to other streamers. Obviously it doesn't, but genitalia, buttocks, hips, female presented nipples, and underbust must be covered at all times on general streams. These guidelines apply to VTuber models, but not video game characters, including those uploaded into games such as VR chat. And here's an important distinction here on how Twitch's guidelines just don't make logical sense and how even when, you know, you do this stuff, you make sure everything's perfectly fine. You make sure all these things get, you know, crossed right. You show everything off the correct way. You know, you, you, you could be on a beach in a bikini and still get hit. I'm going to bring us all the way over here to Camille. Now, I can't play this video. But this is somebody from the VR chat section on Twitch, which VR chat is nothing more than softcore prawn of VR chat models in scantily cladded outfits showing off their big bazoongas, their big buttocks, doing all sorts of craziness on the VR chat system. They can dress like this and be perfectly fine. But oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you come over here to Meg. Meg dresses like this, gets banned. Gets in trouble. Worse things happen because of all this. Because of how she's depicting herself, because she's not a VR chatter, guys. And she's not a person of the flesh. She's a PNG, and this is her model. This is her setting. And it's very clear already that this is a beach back here. And I get it. Meg thought that, hey, we need to correct all this. We need to do all this. This all here costs money. Everything that she did here costs money. Trying to comply to all these rules, which they're now trying to retroactively enforce on everybody, costs money for these people. Because your model can cost thousands of dollars on some regards, hundreds of dollars on other regards. But these aren't changes you can make overnight. These are changes that take time to make. And to apply to all these isn't easy. And even then, we could come back over here. I don't think she needed to change anything. I think she was just fine. You want to know why I think she's just fine? Because Twitch considers this to be just fine. Twitch considers this to be just fine. So Meg didn't have to do anything in my regards. I think Meg was perfectly fine. Because if you're going to allow it for the people of the flesh and the VR chatters to show off their hips and their bodies, then it's A-OK -okay for the VTubers to do it, correct? No. No, it's not. Because the people of the flesh... No, because VTubers are nothing more than second-class citizens to Twitch. VTubers are nothing more than a, a category of people that tick off the people of the flesh tick off the VR chatters because they make more money. They require less work ultimately to actually get on stream because in reality, a lot of these girls, they can roll out of bed. They don't have to worry about, you know, brushing their hair or putting on tons of makeup, dolling themselves up for them simps. No, they just get on stream. They, they can stream in their pajamas. They, they don't have to show off anything and they can make money. And the people of the flesh, hate that because the people of the flesh have to put in a lot of work to milk their simps when all it takes for a VTuber is to get up, go to the camera and start reacting, start creating content, start communicating and having fun. It doesn't take a whole lot of work there, but the, the people of the flesh hate that. So Twitch cracks down on VTubers.
Twitch decides the VTubers are the problem. The VTubers are the bad people. And we're going to retroactively enforce our policies and make our policies more draconian and single out the VTubers while at the same time allowing all the people of the flesh and the VR chatters to do whatever the heck they want the entire time. Now, ultimately, yes, Meg did get unbanned. Meg is perfectly fine. After one day and two minutes and 53 seconds, she got unbanned, but she shouldn't have been banned in the first place. None of these VTubers should have been banned in the first place that are getting hit like this. And there's other examples of VTubers on an obvious beach setting in a single piece swimsuit also getting in trouble. There's other VTubers that get hit for playing video games. They're constantly getting in trouble right now because Twitch is not friendly to them. And here's the biggest thing. With Twitch doing everything that they're doing, with Twitch enforcing their guidelines in some really awful ways and some of the other controversies they've been a part of as of late, all it's going to take is for a platform like Kick, Rumble, or YouTube to come out here, take one long look at some of these VTubers and start offering a contract here, a contract there, start going to some of these actual like VTuber companies and, and discussing with some of these people, V Show Joe and Hollow Live, so on and so forth. All it will take is one of these companies to go to oh, one or two of these VTuber companies or, or go to some of these independent VTubers and get them to come over to their platform and then Twitch loses an entire demographic of streamers. All it's going to take is for one other platform to be more kind to VTubers and for VTubers to become a little bit more successful and break in a little bit more money over on these other platforms for them to ultimately ditch Twitch and go somewhere else. This is business now. This is simple marketing aspects now. It wouldn't shock me if there's a few behind the scenes conversations going on with the amount of mistreatment VTubers are getting right now. But that's just my thoughts on all this. Let me get your guys' let me get your guys' thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video live, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.